Welcome back everyone. Got a very cool episode today. I'm gonna go check out the solar pond pump and system that we had set up. But we started out in the greenhouse here. I wanted to show all the life we got. Even got some dandelions popping up through here. This aronia bush is coming to life. Everything's popping out of dormancy. Just a quick snapshot. Everything is doing well and growing very quickly. Let's head out to the chicken run and check out our solar system we just built. Outside the greenhouse here, we've got a bunch of strawberries coming up. We've got some chicory. Strawberries over there. Just the absolute best. We've got plants all over. Coming up on our chicken run, you can see this nice large solar panel we had mounted to this frame we just built. We're able to move this and face it towards the sun so we can pull it out towards the center of the yard and we can have more sunlight because we're under the canopy of a tree and we planted out this whole run here so we need to be able to move it a little bit into the summertime here but this is a nice high quality solar panel got some good solid connections here came with about 20 feet of cord follow this to a nice little solar hut we made got a nice little latch lock on there to lock it up Use some old pond liner for a roof. And here is our solar system running right now. You can see the sun is charging our solar panel, charging our battery, running our pump. This is our cord that runs to our pump. This is the pump we have submersed. I will drop the link to this kit in the description, so no worries about that. So on this system, we have ourselves a nice 12 volt battery. We have our cords running from our solar panel, and then we have our cord running to our pump. So this is our box all in one here. I set it on some bricks and staked it in real nice and solid. The wind will not take this over. And it should shed plenty of rain here. I'm gonna have this door sealed up and the lock on. We have a good gap and a nice rain drip right here to keep this thing nice and dry. So we're gonna go check out the pump here. This pump is actually running right now. I do not wanna pull it up too far. So we have this nice little sump running down in this about three four foot hole right in the center of this pond we had created in our chicken run here so heading up chicken creek here we've got our hose we are yet to bury it but we have this little dam area we have to work with so we'll be able to put some nice big rocks here and all that will be able to flow and we'll be able to blend this in naturally nobody will be able to see this so following our hose up you can see the water flow coming back out. We are going to build a nice little waterfall right here that transfers the water back and filters it and then it flows right back down this creek and gets recycled back in. So this is a very nice 100 watt solar panel here. I have it fixed with some brackets on the bottom holding it and I had looped some wire. It's pretty rigged but it's very very solid and the most important part is that this box in the back is protected all the wires can be up underneath and it's very solid nice and heavy i use nice and heavy boards on this so it will not fall over i just wanted to share this cool experiment we got going on here this was our first time actually building our own solar system with a controller and everything included here so i've got this shelf down here to store all of my tools and keep my paperwork for this because this seals up nice and tight and that brings me to the box this is old pond liner this is old greenhouse poly and every board in here is recycled everything except our controller and our kit here was recycled same thing with our base for our solar panel here everything's recycled except our new parts for what we just installed so we find solar power very fascinating I thought everybody would enjoy checking out our little system here. We are able to control everything right here. As you can see, you can see when everything's operating properly. And I can go through all my settings. I can set a timer. I can have it run for 12 hours, run all day. I can have it run when it's only daylight, when it senses sunlight on the solar panel. This is a very cool system. 
I suggest anyone with a little pond or waterway system or one looking to construct one to look up some type of kit like this because it is free energy. You can store all of it from the sun and operate your system for free basically. It pays for itself very quickly. So we have tons of systems that we can operate on this little system here, not just our solar pump there. We could operate lights, we can operate anything that is able to be powered. We may need an inverter if you go to an AC power source, but this pump we have is just DC, so we don't need an inverter. That's why I left this space down here, just in case we want to hook up more onto this system and hook up more batteries also. This is a very cool and versatile system you can create and add more onto. Very, very interesting. If anybody has any questions on setting all of this up, feel free to drop it in the comments. Thank you guys for watching.